generation will not be confused. There is a generation that will get this thing. Say the compressed of the tabula kappa from that day. The creative dimension of the prophetic. There must be a performance because. Avoid offense. Avoid offense. What is offense? The ease with which you get irritated, angry, and resentful is called offense. Offense is a measure of the ease, your ease of volatility. There are people who get offended. You can just look at them and it's like this your cloth. Did you iron it well? And they say you are insulting my pedigree. What no 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 no? There are people who are volatile. The ease with which you get irritated, angry. And resentful is called offense first Corinthians chapter 13 verse 5 first Corinthians chapter 13 verse 5 talking about love now it says love does not behave itself unseemingly seeketh not her own is not easily provoked or anger if you are truly walking in love I don't care what your background is you will not be easily angered there are people who get angry very easily very easily bros how now you say me i'm 10 years older than you i am please don't think that because me on a very good day wouldn't you be saying money easily offended you see offense is a product of judging things from the lens of your own perception of yourself when you judge things from a faulty perception things will be interpreted from the lens of your own limitation offense refuse to be offended refuse to be offended there will be occasion for offense in every relationship from a marriage relationship a business relationship ministerial relationship you must make up your mind as a choice that the blessings that I seek to receive from the relationships God is bringing in my life is greater than any offense offense destroys because you see when you are offended one of the many ways you act is speech and every time you speak with a heart of offense usually the holy spirit is not in charge of that conversation you will talk in the flesh you can make it means that you cannot withdraw again many people have lost precious relationships because if they were a little temperous they would have regained it many people have lost business opportunities because of that offense is an advice it's an encouragement the bible says one of the signs that characterize the end of days is that many shall be offended let me tell you you are not a true human being if you wake up and in 24 hours there is no reason for offense especially if you are a leader people do things that should get me offended every day I do things that should get people offended every day an example is what I'm teaching now are we together now there are things that get people offended you must make up your mind that I will not be offended how many men of God get offended and they can preach they get offended at home they come and climb the stage and you know that that preaching is a lashing down of something that happened between them and their wives and their children the kind of examples they are giving are not relevant to any other member unless their family so you know that this is a this guy is just talking to his wife or the neighbor or the worker using the pulpit offense makes you small offense makes you cheap offense reduces your worth let me tell you something about offense most of those who offend you or they know they offended you the goal is that their joy is in your reaction most of those who offend offend intentionally but when you grow above it you demonstrate that you are living at a higher level of living after this service now on your way home an angry driver an angry man something will happen that will offend you but you must make up your mind and say satan you're a liar i already see your hand i will not be offended 
say in the name of jesus i reject offense is god speaking to us how do we maintain relationships practice forgiveness practice forgiveness mark chapter 11 verse 25 then ephesians 4 32 please give it to us mark 11 25 practice forgiveness i don't know one relationship including the one of you and god that can thrive without forgiveness it's not god you are forgiving god is forgiving you all the time because there are people who really are angry with god okay i forgive you god let's get back into the relationship and when ye stand praying most prayer warriors miss this let me tell you why there is hardship in people's prayer lives it's not all about demons and when ye stand praying what is the rule forgive comma if ye have ought against any that your father in heaven may forgive you your trespasses it's amazing how we pile up people in our hearts some of us have physical books physical books like police reports where you write this sister jane embarrassment sam laughing at me pastor alpha shouted at me the other day while he was preaching and you write everything protocol department their own star 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 they offended me ushers i was falling before everybody and they were watching me i injured myself and you write it down then you leave everything and say father don't you know that i'm human and god says really it's like a small child that begs you for something then you give him and say give back and he refuses that's exactly what we do you can never live in this life without forgiveness what is forgiveness forgiveness is giving forgiveness is giving it is giving pardon and mercy forgiveness a disposition where you are ready to let go even before the offense happens forgiveness forgiveness is a, is a dimension of giving if you are not a forgiver you are not a giver not forgiving is one way of manifesting greed it's not just refusing seed forgiveness but let me balance very quickly you don't forgive just to make peace forgiving to make peace is one of the benefits of forgiveness but the primary purpose of forgiveness is to release yourself so you can move forward because there are times the people you forgive are still not ready to receive it let me be very honest and let me balance forgiveness is only useful when there is repentance a willingness to turn away forgiveness is useless to the person you are forgiving if there is no repentance it is useful to you let me show you what offense does um can i use someone sam please come watch this this is what offense does i want to move forward but i think sam is standing my way and so i'm trying to push him will i move forward holding him i'm trying to hold sam i can't move forward myself this is what forgiveness is he can be there not even deserving it but i release him so that i can move forward i can leave him and his trouble there if he accepts that he is wrong and turns then we make peace and we can work together if he refuses i still forgive so that i can move forward let me tell you the most wounded in the refusal to forgive is the offender or the offended the person who was offended is the one who is most wounded it is painful that the person who even offended you is not even aware and plans to do it again because it was a product of mindset so your assignment is to have a disposition where you forgive as a leader people will offend you every day people will do wrong things every day you must forgive hallelujah everybody say i receive grace to forgive say i let go everyone i'm holding in my hands holding people hold them in your heart i will never forgive my mother except i have said my own and you can never receive blessing i will never forgive my father for what my father has done if i have a knife i will kill him by myself and say daddy die i'm the one killing you 
I will never forgive that person who raped me when I was four years old. I will never forgive that, uh, what they call it now, that brother. He went out with me and broke and scattered my heart. Please forgive so that you can move forward. Forgive so that you can move forward. Turn it into prayer in one minute. Lord, I'm tired of holding people down. I release right now. I let go that boss in the name of Jesus. I release my husband. I release my wife. I release my co-worker. I release my business partner. I release the man of God. I release my head of department. I release my escorts. I release the members in my department. I release Joshua Selman. Make sure you pray. I release everyone who has offended me. Because I want to move forward. I want to move forward. Practice forgiveness. Hallelujah. He says, and be ye kind one to another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake forgave us. Very quickly, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32. Okay, Ephesians 4, verse 32 is there. And then give us Luke chapter 6, verse 37. Luke 6, 37. Let's hurry up. Luke 6, 37. Luke chapter 6, verse 37. It says, Judge not and ye shall not be judged in other words every time you judge people you are scheduling seasons for yourself condemn not and ye shall not be condemned forgive and ye shall be forgiven make sure you practice this make sure you practice this how do i mean quality relationships be tolerant be tolerant forgiveness is different from tolerance forgiveness is somebody's shortcomings that he hopefully will adjust from it tolerance is somebody's personality or a default belief system that may not change you have to incorporate it as part of that person's living there are people i wish i would tell you everybody around you will change there are people who will not change so you switch from forgiveness to tolerance you accommodate that limitation in their life factor it and build a system around it is god speaking to us yes i have many friends all kinds of friends and just like me they are very funny people everybody has all kinds of attributes the same way i am to them too but it takes tolerance there are some things in me unfortunately may not change tolerance you don't you think i like everybody around me to talk but say i don't talk you don't need forgiveness what do you need tolerance. or you you talk too much i just ask you a question where is where is uh, my trouser you say uh, the other one i didn't ask you about what happened where is my trouser please tolerance your destiny helper may be a talkative if you are tolerant to the talkativeness then you receive the breakthrough everybody in your life cannot be you and cannot be like you if everybody was like me the world would be a terrible place you would think the world would be a nice place no you don't want to know some of the boring aspects of my life this world will be a sad place <laughs> you will only be studying and reading and sleeping what a world I am so happy for people who are not me they add flavor I benefit from the joy of them not being me you must have a high degree of tolerance Colossians chapter 3 please help us 12 and 13 Colossians chapter 3 is called forbearance you must tolerate people put on therefore as the elect of God holy and beloved bowels of mercy kindness humbleness of mind meekness long suffering 13 forbearing one another and forgiving one another if any man have a quarrel against any even as christ forgave so also do ye forbearing one another you have business partners you need forbearance are we together you are in your office working you need forbearance in a ministry like this you need forbearance everybody cannot be you brothers and sisters learn this Go 
those following us online hug everybody close to you every pain every secret bitterness let it go in the name of jesus christ The devil is a liar. We must grow in love. We must grow in love. Make sure you are greeting somebody. Hallelujah. Well, many of you cannot go out, so just return back. At least you have two neighbors, your left and right. Give them a big hug. I know you think we're joking, but something is happening to people. Did you remember to hug the protocol department? Some of you don't love them. Look for them and hug them. Or you have to look for them and hug them. No, 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 don't come to hug me. Hug others. Hug others. Hug Shedrach, hug the protocol department. I missed the boss last week, but I love you. Lift your voice, say after me, in the name of Jesus. Say it again, in the name of Jesus. From today, I declare that the spirit of offense will never find expression in my life. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Pray seriously. Pray, pray. I speak with tongues of men and of angels and I have not love. It says I am nothing, a clashing silver. Pray, shake it, take it, take it. No offense, no offense, no offense, no offense. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. Say in the name of Jesus. I release everyone I've been holding in my heart. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Every person who has offended me, I release them. Lift your voice and begin to pray. It's painful, but pray. It's painful, but pray. Release your father. Release your mother. Pray. Pray. You may cry, but pray. I finally release my roommate. I release that pastor. I release that church. I release that ministry. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, I'm ready to move higher.
that brother I release that sister I release that pastor that I cannot see eyeball to eyeball hallelujah is God blessing us I tell you I see a lot of things happening to people prayer point number three the spirit of unforgiveness and revenge we are going to cause it because some of us right now we are already plotting how to pay back is devilish no you never pay evil for evil it says you overcome evil with good lift your voice and say in the name of Jesus every spirit of unforgiveness and revenge at work in my life by the blood of Jesus I cast you out of my life lift your voice and pray no revenge no revenge no unforgiveness pray for your husband pray for your wife pray for your friend every spirit of unforgiveness every spirit those online make sure you are praying with us those online make sure you are praying every spirit of unforgiveness every spirit of revenge planning to rejoice at the downfall of others planning to rejoice at the downfall of others I challenge you in the name of Jesus hallelujah hear me some of you are already waiting for bad news from your family members some of you are already waiting to to hear that the rich people you are angry with something has happened to their fortune so that you can rejoice it's devilish to rejoice over the downfall of somebody you love god is a god of judgment but he's a god of love are we together no anger no revenge some of us who knows that there are people here planning after koinonia they won't even go home they want to brand somewhere and go and flog out something no no revenge is for fools he said vengeance is mine say yet the lord it's not yours are we together are we together i'd like you to pray you are going to ask the lord to baptize you with a fresh love for people not just people you know people that you develop and a love and a sense of sympathy that like jesus you can look at people like sheep without a shepherd lift your voice and pray pray lord compassion for people pastors pray give me compassion for my members i don't just want to be a preacher I want to love people, genuine love, genuine love, genuine passion, genuine love, genuine compassion. Genuine love for people, genuine compassion for people. Hallelujah. Listen, please listen. We are praying. I want to speak to every leader here. Never use people, love them and build people are we together don't use people and climb them like ladders to be relevant it's demonic i'm speaking to every pastor here and many who will be listening online there are many pastors who are wicked they climb members like ladders many pastors don't love their congregation a good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep many husbands are selfish and self-centered to hell with their family for as long as it does not affect them many wives are selfish 
and self-centered the children would rather not go to school for you to buy a new lace that's self-centeredness many relationships are self-centered because they have to do with people who are always thinking myself that's the next prayer point lord kill selfishness and i want you to receive it brothers and sisters you will step into levels of the anointing if you keep offense far from you don't hear this thing i'm telling you and then trivialize it and don't let anybody tell you this is this is food for babes you are joking you are joking when you rise in the spirit you will find out that this is solid food it can rob men of their dignity it authorizes satan to destroy men are we together i pray for you from the depth of my heart that every spirit of unforgiveness and every spirit of revenge that is eating you up like a cancer and stopping you from manifesting and becoming all that god has destined for you to be i command that spirit to live your life forever in the name of jesus christ hallelujah whatever offense has taken from you some of you have lost relationships very good relationships that you may never get that kind again i'm not talking of love relationships good real meaningful relationships with people just because of weaknesses here and there some of us have lost opportunities god brought valuable people into your life but because of offense listen i want you to learn tonight that it is not all about you are we together ladies am i talking to you you have to learn this i don't know who who are those preaching all these rubbish messages all around and making ladies feel it is all about you no it's not all about you it is about you but it's not all about you are we together so that that attitude that makes you live in a kingdom where everything must happen at your terms the moment your terms are compromised you are angry you are living in an illusion it's children that live in that world are we together i pray for you the grace to be selfless to also consider the pain of others the grace to be selfless to also consider how your decisions affect others i release it upon you in the name of jesus i release it upon you in the name of jesus i pray for you those of us who are easy to begin to hate people just one little statement you you find out that you are struggling with hatred it's like you are you are almost a sadist you can't find joy in anything the lifespan of your relationship with people is not more than two weeks something must come and you will fall to it i separate you from that kind of life from today in the name of jesus and i command healing for people here who have been so hot now i'm not denying the fact that when people offend you it can be painful many of you have carried these wounds for years tonight in the name of jesus as i pray for you that wound must heal right now i don't know who has said what against you or about you or towards you i don't know who has done what against you or about you or towards you you so resent the person the moment you see the person there is this arousal of anger let it die tonight in the name of jesus i release upon you the courage to make peace the courage to make peace the courage to go out of your way and make peace and i pray for you the relationships you lost i call them back into your life the opportunities you lost i call them back into your life the anointings and the graces and the dimensions of prayer and work with god you used to fellowship with that offense brought you down and you are now so carnal as if you never walked in that level of power i command a restoration for you every prayer life that has died here as a result of offense the moment you go to pray the devil brings memories of pain and you can't pray you are there three hours but you are not saying anything be free from me tonight in the name of jesus closely related to the spirit of offense there are many of us there is a spirit upon us if you don't gossip you cannot sleep it's not that you don't want to there is something in you is demonic 
if nobody has told you know now that is demonic you cannot be trusted with informations talking to you is as is as good as saying it in a radio station something keeps pinching you until that information leaves you let me tell you if you are suffering that thing here i want you to know it's an attack from the pit of hell especially sisters oh I, me too they told me oh don't tell anybody it's a spirit it's a spirit and it's killing you because god cannot commit a great man into your hands great men are great because of the secrets that they have you want god to bring a great man in your life and your mouth is running like tap god will not carry his precious son and put in your life same thing with gentlemen god will not carry his precious daughter and commit to you are we together there are some of us you want access to wealth you want access to organizations and corporations but your mouth gossiping backbiting your your is it's like you have this sense of sarcasm you always see something wrong in everything it's a bitter spirit five minutes into your conversation you are talking about somebody what you are saying may be right but do you not have anything better with your life i like you to in one minute i'm still praying for you but i like you to pray and say lord this spirit of gossip this spirit that makes me dash down my reputation let it live my life it has not profited me lift your voice and pray god stop trusting you with information about men's life you used to operate in the prophetic but everything you see you say you don't know what is sayable is not worthy of being spoken pray our mouths have ensnared many of us you you have sown seeds of discord friends you have come informations that are irrelevant planted enmity between people it must leave tonight hallelujah the last prayer point i'll pray for you before i make the altar call is that in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god thank you for watching our entire video today if you feel you can bless someone please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media